Hello all, in today's video I will show you how to test the validity of an actor reference. This is important because passing in null references can cause your blueprints to behave incorrectly or crash. Let's jump in. In our content drawer, we will create a new blueprint of type actor. I will call this underscore uh, BP underscore test reference validity. Validity. I will double click to open this up and go to my event graph. First, I will create two functions. I will right click and type custom event. I will call my first custom event valid. And I will call my second custom event invalid. After each of these, I will add a print string and I will say for the first one, valid, and you guessed it, for the second one, invalid. I will select both of these, and I will add a comment box by pressing C and typing functions. I will go up to my event begin play, I'm going to delete these two functions, and we're going to run a sequence. So I'll drag off here and type sequence, selecting this. We'll add one more pin. And so I'm going to show you now three different ways. First, I'm going to create a variable, which is going to be our actor reference, and we will call it actor reference. And where it says Boolean, I will click to change the variable type to actor. I will select this one here and create an object reference. I will hit the little eyeball here, which is kind of invisible, but it's there. I will click it and let's compile and save. First, I will drag it out and say, get actor reference. So when you right click, you can actually drop down into this option here that says convert to validated get. If I drag in here, then basically what this does is it does an automatic check for is valid and is not valid. And it also gives us the ability to then pull off and do anything with that actor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'll say valid, which will get our function. And I will say invalid, which will get our other function. So this is basically a way of, you know, if we wanted to execute functionality on this blueprint after the fact, this it would go there. Let's do a second method. I'm going to drag my actor reference into my graph and I'll say get actor reference. I'll pull off and I'll say is valid. There are two options here in the utilities. I'll click the first, and it gives us a Boolean. So this would be used in conjunction with a branch, and if I press B on my keyboard and left click, it will give me a branch, or I could search it here. I will drag this value in here, and I'll drag the then one into my branch, and I will copy my valid and invalid down here. I'll move my functions just a little bit further. And I'm going to grab my then two. Actually, first what I'll do is I'll grab my actor reference. I'm gonna copy it and paste it. I'm gonna pull off and select our second variation of is valid. So this one has a question mark. This is our macro. So this is a Unreal Engine 5 provided macro, which if we jump into it, uh, it when it, we'll do that when it executes. Um, we'll see that there's basically stuff going on under the hood. So I'll drag my then two into it. And I will then copy my valid and invalid here. And now let's test this in our world. So I'll compile and I'll save. I'm going to now drag my BP test reference validity into our environment. So in my level, I will drag and drop. It is right here. All it is is a sprite right now. And so we're gonna leave this blank first. So it says actor reference and gives us the ability to, because we've exposed it, reference an object in the world. So I could reference any type of object because all I've asked for is an actor. And let's add a breakpoint. So in our sequence, what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll say add breakpoint. Then I'll compile and save. And I'll right click and say play from here in my environment. 
immediately, because it's right after event begin play, we can see that our sequence has kicked off and our breakpoint has stopped it right here. So if I press advance a single frame, which is the second option, it'll move over and it'll test our actor reference. We already know that our actor reference is invalid because we haven't provided it one, so it's gonna to go to invalid. If I press next again, it's gonna bump down to our function that we've created and it's gonna do our action, which we said print the string. If I hit next again, it's gonna jump back to our sequence and it's gonna test actor reference. Hey, are you valid? Guess what? It's not. So it's gonna do our invalid function, bounce through again, and then it's gonna use our third type of is valid test. And this time when we hit next frame, it's actually going to jump into this macro. So it'll open up our standard macros and either you can advance through this frame by frame, but a lot of times you don't want to. So if you hit the arrow right here, you'll jump out, which is what I'll do. So I'll just advance one frame so you can see. But then if I hit this arrow here, it will jump out of this macro, which is great. So we are now on the invalid, which is exactly what we expected. And it's gonna run our function and huzzah, we're done. So now let's run this one more time, but provide it with a valid reference. So I'm gonna use uh, the magnifying glass and I'm just gonna pick this object. I'm gonna press play. And now that we have a valid reference, we're able to see when we hover over it here that we can see our active reference, which is the static mesh that I picked from the environment. And it's gonna to go to valid. We know that all of these are valid, so I'm not gonna run through it, but it's important to know how to use these validity testing measures in your blueprints to keep them safe. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content. Have a great day.